Right, hi everyone, welcome back to Rusty. Just done the unit tonight, as you can see, the usual. It's freezing. Just turn you around. Obviously, you've seen in the previous video that I made the support. So once I actually uh, start putting it together, it's all going to go together in the right place. I also started bracing the car up. I'm going to finish that all off this evening. Obviously, I put the first one in. I want to do one that side. And then, obviously, then the cross brace in the centre. So I'm going to get set up on the tripod. And, um, well, yeah, get on with it. <laughs> See you in a minute. Right, hi, welcome back everyone. As I said before, this is what I'm going to be using to brace the car. As I said in the previous video, it's not exactly the best ideal stuff to use, but it's going to do the job. Just marked it where I need to cut it, so I'm going to get it cut and get it welded in. Same again, all it's got to do is literally just go across and then just clean the zinc off. Need a heater down there. You can do it one going up or off it? Yeah, just triangle, yeah. yeah. Then it costs this way, bro. Yeah. The only thing with that, that stuff is if you don't clean your zinc off properly, it spits like Boy, hell. Wrong, you know? I know, yeah. You get like a cloud up here. Yeah. Put the gloves on
I say, you know if you go to turn that screw, it would actually take too long, too long to turn that grind off. How strong that is. It's yeah. only twisting because it's so long. Yeah. All that's on. Especially when it's got if do no one there like you said, and then try to cross press it. Why am I cross pressing to you? If it was me, probably when that one's done, probably one from, from there. Yeah. I don't know, it's just curious. Hmm. The only way that's going to fall off, I think, is on the edge. There you go. <laughs> right, oh yeah, shit. Right, I'm going to stop it there, I'm going to come back once I've cut the other couple. So one will criticise. I give a fuck. It doesn't matter as long as you do its job. Hey, what? It's better than not doing anything, isn't it? Well, yeah. That's all you got to think of it. That's it. Let me know if you need help.
close all of them. Lift what and open it as long as you're too tacks right at the end. Yeah. Good yeah. Hey, I'm smoking. You, you could be smoking. <laughs> Tell him got a wheel on it, he's doing spin. <laughs> Well, we can blow it out way, well, you just call mugging, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd have to make sure that's all the cooking. See, that's all it's solid, that. It is. Check. Right here. Yeah. Okay, that's good, weld, is it? Oh. What do you mean? What? Think you're getting a bit too far on the road? No, I don't want it to fucking move. Yeah. But it won't move, even if it's not all it will move, will it? Right, hi, welcome back. Just show you the uh, progress of bracing it up. It's a bit, um, I don't know exactly what you'd call it, <laughs> but here it is. Obviously, I've gone across both sides. That's to try and stop the car from obviously doing that in the middle. Gone across there to stop it bending in the middle and then obviously then I've done the two cross braces and then also welded that in the middle as well so it should stop it twisting once I start cutting the floors out in the inner outer seals it shouldn't now twist or move but I'm not 100% yet I'm in my mind or if I'm going to repair the floors I'm not actually made my mind up because I've actually got that section there. That section I do have. These couple of holes ain't gonna be no issue to repair. 
that there would be some issue just because of the, um, the curvature of it all I've not got a uh, like an English wheel or anything and uh, as for the inner seals I'm going to be putting new on or find some originals that's been cut off a car that hopefully need very minor work so I shall see you in the next one